Okay, it should start in uh, a minute. Yeah, I've got it. Hi, friends. It's indeed a privilege and an honor to welcome you all to this uh, 10th edition of Mind Amaze. I can't believe it's 10 years since uh, you left us so suddenly on 15th of August, uh, yeah, 10 years ago. Mayuk was a live wire who really lived his life filled to the brim mm -hmm. with phenomenal energy, zest, yeah, and enthusiasm. He was a huge inspiration to me and to so many of us. I recall the uh, anecdote that the GIC CEO, Lim Chowkirt, uh, recounted to us when uh, he opened this quiz a few years ago at GIC. And what, uh, uh, what he said was that about Mayuk's interview to become managing director at GIC, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, he said, <laughs> at the end of the interview, the entire interview panel was really motivated after William Chowkirt came and spoke. That's very generous. Yeah, that is how much. Very true. <laughs> Thank you. Like he did everything else, Mayuk was a passionate and a consummate quizzer through his life. He was a two time Bonvita winner early, very early in life, and then he went on to win quizzes far and wide. Mind Amaze was therefore an apt memorial for him, started by Shropna, his wife, and Mayuk's friends. This annual event has grown in size and stature, and today in the 10th edition, we have almost 100 participants, it's 96, uh, from around the world, uh, from China on one end, and in the second edition, we'll have uh, you know, people from the, from the US as well. Now, this list of participants is really all inspiring as well. It includes some of India's finest quizzers. And then there are some of us, uh, like myself, who are here thanks to our special association with Mayuk. For us, it's a privilege to be in such erudite quizzing company. Also, uh, before Joyda starts off on taking the names, you will not fail to notice the creativity expressed by all in the team names, which are extremely interesting uh, and enigmatic. I'm sure there's a fascinating story behind each of them. Uh, and to make this varied and uneven field a playable one, I'm delighted to welcome our quiz master for Mind the Maze 2021, Joy Bhattacharya. Joy needs no introduction, so I'll give him none. His work is sport and quizzing, and he's the envy of so many. Joy has been a strong pillar of support to Mind the Maze for so long now that he will find that he's unable to extricate himself anytime soon. He makes Mind the Maze very captivating, beguiling, and extremely exciting. In the last two years, as we've gone online and global, Joy has made this quiz that much more fun to participate in while keeping the competitive edge strong as well. This is the first of two semifinals. Uh, the participants here and in the next session in a few hours, will uh, they include some past winners of Mind Amaze, quizzers from Mayuk's family. Uh, there are people from GIC, his last employer, from his school, Lamarts, Calcutta, from IIT, Kharagpur, and from, as the thing says behind me, a uh, well-known Institute of Management in Western India, or WIMWI, where Mayuk did his MBA. So without further ado, I'll cut out the next 17 minutes of my speech. Let me hand over to the quiz master, uh, Joy. Please take it away, Joy. Hi guys, as usual, the first most difficult thing of understanding Zoom is when to mute on and mute off. And that is a skill that even I haven't got too well. Uh, <clears throat> what can I say? Uh, uh, this has been a, it's an interesting group of people when we are doing this online, because since 2020, we've had this really strange solution. And the strange solution or the situation has been that you have people who are here just to enjoy and have a good time and hear a few interesting questions and maybe answer a few. And you're matching it with some of the most cutthroat piratical quizzers in the planet who are absolutely fabulous at what they do. So it's a very uneasy balance that one has to rise while doing this quiz. But I'll tell you what I've done. For all you guys who are very hardcore solid quizzers, have fun out here, but this is not one in which you're going to uh, uh, Google me across three streams and answer questions. You probably know them, as will the rest of the people. And uh, in keeping with my 
need to go back to my roots or my to show my true age, which is not difficult if you have completely white hair. I am going to have a format which is as close to the old format as possible, which means I'm going to have a set of straight questions. I'm going to have visual questions. And what I'm going to have is I'm not, except for a first round to set up people, written round to set up people, I'm not going to have teams to send me answers. They will, one designated member of the team and you guys figure out your WhatsApp group or whatever it is to answer. Just answer when I give, ask your name, okay? Nilanjana, for your benefit, this is how it's going to operate. There are going to be five questions at the start. There are no negative marks in the quiz. There are no negative, should never be any neg negative marks in the quiz. The simple rule is at the start, we'll have five visual questions on which question answers are based. I'll give teams what I think to be about a minute to discuss them and answer that. And those are the only things that are going to be sent in to, the, to my uh, to my address on the chat. That's all you need to do. So team members, if you want to consult, last time we the best way we operated this was teams put up their own WhatsApp group and they got together and they did it. We tried a more complicated solution where we had rooms in which teams went, but it was really difficult because, you know, you know when as we found out that the old saying, get a room is much more complicated than it seems. So uh, that's where it is. Uh, in case you think you know it better than any one of your teammates, you are free to answer first. But then after that, if you don't get it correctly, I will accept only the first correct answer from any team. Unless I really happen to like the team, in which case I can do very many things. But uh, this is, after all, an unfair event. It is also an event, as I said, where I want to hear voices. I want to hear answers rather than have lots of people keyboarding frantically for all the answers. Okay. So here's the format a set of five questions which will come straight up at you, okay? And which you will give me answers to in a written format. You'll send one, two, three, four, five. Each team, one designated person from each team sends me the answers, okay? After that, we'll have 30 questions divided into two pieces of 15 questions each, where the questions will be basically, there'll be visual questions and there'll be dry questions. And every time I'll go in a particular order, I have the order ahead of me. I'll go in clockwise order once, anti-clockwise order once. The rule out here is very simple. The rule is we are going to play what is called infinite bounds. That means if team one gets a question and they can't answer it in team three answers, the next question goes to team four. It's a fairest format to make sure that everyone gets it. But here's the thing. I want teams to actually open their mics and answer rather than just so I'll give you 15 seconds to discuss, decide who wants to answer, who doesn't want to answer. But I want to hear people answer and I want to hear my own voice. I'm a Bengali, so obviously I want to hear my own voice. But uh, that's basically the rules of the game, okay? And uh, before we start, uh, there are many explanations to be given. Most of all, many team names here, which I'm struggling to understand. And uh, what I'd really like to do is that when I give the name of a team, if all four of you can just quickly introduce yourself so we at least know who we are talking to. So team number one uh, in my list is Rhodesia Solution. First and whoever, one of you four, please, please all introduce yourself. And one of you four, please tell me whether the answer question has, whether your name has anything to do with Cecil Road. So have you just, are you no, all so, or what? Okay, I'll, I'll go hey, hello. first. I'm Niloy. Hi, Joy. Hi. Uh, so good, good to see you again. And uh, so this is Team Rhodesia Solution. All of us are based in Singapore. Uh, people on the Singapore quiz circuit here probably have seen us around. So very glad to be again in this second virtual edition of Mind Amaze. And the story is really simple. It's the Rhodesia Solution from Yes Minister. We're going to be as ambiguous as possible that the quiz master <laughs> gives up and just gives us the points. Okay, accepted. Rhodesia Solution, that, that is a brilliant. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I know which episode you're talking about now. Well done. Uh, so all, who are you for? Just uh, see from who are the four? Hi, this is Chitkala. Hi, Chitkala. Yes, of course, we met. And who are the other two? Niloy. Hi, this is Saurabh. Saurabh, Niloy, Chitkala, and Sri from the Rhodesia Solution who promised to give me ambiguous answers. So one of you will have to decide which one of you is going to fudge on those ambitious answers with me. We'll probably be ambiguous about that too. Okay, that ambiguity, uh, it'll be me. It'll be we, need me. To solve. we may need to solve that ambiguity quick, fast, but yeah, okay. 
Zaverian All-Stars, that's, that's, that's about the kind of language or names I understand. Zaverian All-Stars, please introduce yourselves. Hello? Uh, oh, uh, I'm Amit. Ramajit? Yeah, Amit and Ramajit are sitting together, I see. Any yes. Idea? Yeah, and we have, uh, where, where are the other guys? Ashur. So, hi, I'm Ashur, the third member of Zaverian All-Stars. And this is uh, Ritoban, uh, also as part of the... Are you all same batch or all over the place? Very mixed batches. Each other. So I think ICSE 94, 95, 96, and Rito was 99, I think. 99, yeah. yeah. Excellent. All over the place. Zaverian All-Stars taking part in a quiz from a Lamartine alumna. Uh, interesting. We will see where that goes. Whether the name Zaverian All-Stars was a good idea or not, we shall find out soon. Okay, who's the third one? Uh, it, this is a very modest surname. Uh, it has a team name. It says Guptas are great, obviously. You know. Okay. <laughs> Guptas are great. Go for it. So, Matu, will you introduce us? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Matu. Uh, and Guptas are great. Very simple. It's just the family. And that's what our WhatsApp group is called. So, not that much creativity there. But... Uh, it's something simple for us to go with. Uh, this is my father, um, Uden. Uh, my mother, Sushmita, is in one of the other boxes. And my sister, Anahita, is in yet another box somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, then the, the great thing about Guptas is great is you don't need to set up another WhatsApp group to discuss answers. You <laughs> yes, exactly. You're ahead of the game. Okay, super. Next is a very, very creative name, which... 47 million people have used as their password. It goes A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. Introduce yourselves, please, gentlemen and ladies. Hi, Joy. This is uh, Pratyush here from uh, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can imagine, we are very, very less imaginative. Um, all of us are based in Singapore. I'll let uh, the others introduce. <laughs> Hi, hey, Joy. Uh, I'm Ran. Uh, we had a bank account uh, login open on one window and the form on the other and we mixed the passwords, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I can, I can quite believe. Look, <laughs> you look the type to be in tech and if you if people have ABCD, one to three points, their passwords, there's no hope left for our planet. We might as well quietly let ourselves die. But brilliant. ABCD, one, two, three, four. Good to have you guys here. Uh, hardcore team. Okay. W-I-M-W-I. Whatever it means. Can you first tell me what it means? Number one. W-I-M. W-I-M-W-I-1. Wimby. I'll call you Wimby1 and Wimby2. Okay. Yes, Wimby1, so introduce yourselves, please. This is Joy. I'm Amit. Uh, this is the well-known Institute of Management in Western India, which Mayuk was, did his MBA from. <laughs> and uh, we are all batchmate of, batchmates of uh, Mayuk from IIM and the Bird. Brilliant, Amit. Fam Hi. Fantastic. The rest of you are? Hi, I'm Shiv. Okay, Shiv, Amit. Ashok. Ashok. Ashok and? Srinath. Where are you? Srinath. So that's the four of you. Yeah. I've put in number six in between to break up this well-known institute because, you know, the well-known institute, Cabal, is also well-known. So I put one team in between the second and the first. Team number six is, they call themselves Tequila Mockingbird. Tequila Mockingbird, please introduce yourselves. Hi, uh, we are a team of four uh, across Singapore, Malaysia, and uh, India. I'm TG in Singapore. Uh, hi, I'm Pathagat from Gurgaon. Okay. Yes, Tathagat, next. Uh, hi, I'm Movin, sitting in Kuala Lumpur. I've never heard of you, Movin. Do you quiz? You must waiting for the first time. I'm waiting for the first time, Joy. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's, it's a good habit. It's an interesting thing for young minds to learn stuff, Movin, I'm sure. You know, yeah, yeah. No, never too late. Never it's too never late. too late in life, as they say. Tata and Movin, as they say, they've one more Thank quiz that I've had hot dinners. Who's the last one? Sorry. I'm Somo. Um, I learned quizzing on Movin's lap, and now I'm also a big overgrown. You'll be surprised at the number of things people have learned in Movin's lap. But this I may not be the right forum. Right. This is a mixed family forum. We will not discuss that further. Movin, uh, we will discuss Movin's lap will be the focus of another quiz soon to be held. 
Uh, the timings may be slightly later in the night, but uh, we will let you know about that. Okay, next team is the well-known Institute of Management in Western India too. Will you introduce yourselves, please? Yes, so clearly, <clears throat> you know, we are batchmates of uh, Amit and the others who have introduced themselves already. And one of us had to drop out. So we were actually left with a well-known institute in Western and Eastern India, but we're not allowed to change the name. Okay. So we stuck with that. Biru, who's there, is from I am Calcutta. The rest. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah. Mayok's uh, batch. Uh, Biru and I are based in Bombay. The other two are in Chennai. Okay, I'm I just. Think I'm most just... of us are <clears throat> first time quizzers, so we are here to uh, to enjoy the. Uh... So have fun. Sit on Movin's lap if you can, virtually or otherwise, and you know. Yeah, I, I I have a visa for Malaysia. I will fix that. Brilliant. And Bireshwar, I, I know exactly how it feels to be like a leper when the Eastern Institute of Management and the Western Institute of Management meet. It's it's not easy, I understand, but I sympathize with your condition in these circumstances. Uh, 50 shades of gray matter. I mean, that last matter is the biggest letdown on the quizzing names on the planet. Who are 50 shades of gray matter? Folks, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Dave. Uh... Uh, team split evenly across Delhi and Singapore. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey Matter again comes from our WhatsApp group. Uh, it's a bunch of friends who all have very different strengths and weaknesses and essentially we cover 50 shades of the spectrum of quizzing uh, from casual uh, quizzers to hardcore professional quizzers. So that's uh, that's why the name. Okay. Uh, Shades of Grey also covers a lot of casual to hardcore. You know? It does, right. You have to look at it, yeah. Okay, brilliant. And Devottam, who are the others? Dijo here. Yeah. Ishan. Huh? Ishan. Hi, Ishan. Hi. And, and, and I'm the fourth, Kunal. Oh, Kunal, you are the other one who learned uh, while you was while Rajan Pramu was probably on the left thigh, you were in the right thigh of moment, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. He has taught me a lot. I don't know about the lap part, but he has taught me a lot pretty much. So, yeah. <laughs> I love these taught me a lot kind of thing. So, anyway, just Movin, you're beginning to feel like, you know, Bhishma Pitamaha about here. And if I've done this to your reputation, I'm very happy about it. Dishum 2021. Dishum 2021 is such a, such a quizzy name because, you know, Quizzing is obviously such an action-based sport. Dishum 2021, please introduce yourself. And please, why have you decided to call yourself Dishum 2021? You could interpret it in one of many ways. <clears throat> uh, it's, it, it's, it's to do with the restaurant in London. We all intend to meet one day. We've never. Uh, it's also a sort of mention of a certain Arsenal fan in our midst, which uh, shall go unmentioned. But let me introduce our team. We used to all live in Singapore till about three years back. Three of us still live there, which is Shudip Ghatok, who was at IIT and IIM with Moyuk. There's Shuprutik, who was at IIM with Moyuk, with IIT with Moyuk, I'm sorry. And um, Obijit, who's a, also a friend of theirs from Singapore and a senior of mine from school. I happen to have left Singapore and we live in the UK now. So that's the four of us. And it's lovely to meet you all and be here. Brilliant, Dishum 2021. Dishum 21, 2021, I think, were the online champions last year. I don't know what they called themselves that year. Did you call yourself Dishum 2020 last year? I'm not sure. You did call yourself Dishum 2020. Yeah, they were Dishum, yeah. Okay. Beijing Bunnies. Beijing Bunnies, please introduce yourself, please. Uh, hi, Joy. I'm Dakshini. And this is my husband, Siddharth. And we are in Beijing, but actually our uh, name should be Beijing and Bangalore Bunnies because we've got two of our friends, Jitin and Francis, in Bangalore. Uh, they've joined us from there. And uh, they are from very well-known Central and Southern Institutes of Management. So a lot of management alumni here. And I, I, just, I just completely love this well-known Institute of Management as a <laughs> better name. I think well-known Institute of Management writes far better with me. I think I, I'm going to go with well-known Institute of Management from here on. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, actually, Joy, that's brilliant. my niece. That's my niece. Yes. Oh, yeah. Joining for the first time. I'm joining for the first time and I'm very excited to be part of this. Nowhere close to uh, the quizzing legends that we have here, but um, just happy to be here. Yeah, and, and best of you to my uncle. Absolutely. And though Movens, uh, all his laps are covered, 
he even otherwise he can give you a lot of other wisdom that you know this thing but yeah moment <laughs> have fun clockwork vegan horrible i mean yeah i can smell you from here tell us a little bit more about yourself hi jayda this is avirup and uh, uh, like our, our other team members is shomik uh, joined by his son and daughter hi so, uh, hello to hello. and rani hi guys so the so they have been they have been regular uh, of your score scorekeepers like in earlier quizzes they were you know uh, quite young and now they have like gone into colleges they have start writing their own books so we are quite excited to attend your quiz fabulous and this you'll find this is a slightly more distinct quiz accessible quiz and the last team called themselves the wise quacks who are the wise quacks hey hello uh, hi uh, three of us here in singapore uh, this is raj and with me i have uh, my friends ganesh and ajit we are first timers here and uh, just here to have a good time and uh, enjoy the music brilliant so guys as i said mind the maze 2021 the rules out here are very simple what i'm going to try and do first and foremost is try and give you guys a sense of this is not a very hardcore quiz but it's a quiz where i hope we have interesting questions so even if you are a hardcore quizzer and you other people may know the answers you still might enjoy the question how i'm going to go is i'm going to give you a set of five visual questions first and teams please discuss i will give you after the end so after every visual i'll give you about 30 seconds or about 15 20 seconds and after the end of the visuals five visuals i'll give you a whole one minute to discuss it among yourselves all you have to do is i'll ask you the question just write down the answers that you uh, that i'm asking for you please one of you from every team send it to my chat account nowhere else just my chat account please yeah shupratim to everyone so sorry how many teams go through as many as a quiz master feels like right now it's at four okay okay uh here's let me see if i can share the screen because uh, mostly uh, stuff is uh, stuff like this is very very strange to me and very difficult for me so let me see guys can you see my screen right now yes no? please yeah we can yeah okay you can see my screen so brilliant that's question number 1 coming up okay uh guys remember these are questions you have to write down and just send it to me as 1 2 3 4 5 no negative marks i will accept i'll your answers one point uh, five points for each correct answer in question number 1 the question is two words in the english language have originated from this classic scene from mythology name both words two words from mythology have come from this classic classic two words in the english language have come from this classic scene from mythology give me both words okay. half points i will think about but i right now i'm not committing to any half points okay i think that's enough time next question yeah. joy we we sent all the five answers together yeah please send all five answers together yeah all five answers together i don't want them piece me okay please okay, somebody is put it on the chat box the answer oh i thought we were supposed to put it as we go along no if you put it on the chat box remember it goes to everyone you need to address it specifically to me okay so anyway all those of you who have seen the solution good for you because all of you have probably got yourself five points for this i need both correct two two words in the english language come from this scene and i just wanted both number second question please do not put it on the chat box please send it to me directly right at the end okay after all five and see who you are sending it to don't send it to all send it to me okay number two wait how does it damn screen okay okay let me see if i've done this right okay This is a place in Germany, which from nineteen end of nine, mid nineteen forties to almost the nineteen seventies, this whole place was there just to hold one man. This whole place was put together to guard just one man. Who was this place? Who were all these people put together? This whole sort of castle that you see was there to guard one man. Who? That's question number two. you can see that as a place you can see all the things around it you can see a big guard out there and it's a whole lot of people 
to guard just one man? Who were they guarding? That's question two. Jada, can you repeat the years, please? From mid 40s to at least the 70s. Actually, I think it's a bit further, but mid 40s to at least the 70s, this whole put thing was set up, was put together to guard one man. Okay. Number three. Okay, I'm going to move this for you. Okay. I want, this is a very, very famous autobiography in a way or a story, business story. I want the last three words of this book title. You, could, you can make out what this book title is about. Okay, lots of hints there. You can see the man who's supposed to have written it. Just tell me the last three letters of this book title. <laughs> Okay, that's question. Last three words, right? Good. Last three letters, not letters. Last three words, yeah. Got that? Is it, is it words or letters? It's words, words, words. Got that? Has everyone got that? Okay, I'm moving forward. I mean, Next one coming up. Okay, uh, what you're seeing out here is a set of names of cities. Okay, these are cities connected by a particular grid. Uh, it's not totally accurate now. This was done in about 2018 19. What does this grid represent? It represents, and I'll give you a hint here the only places, and I'll leave it there. Okay. In, I'll give you, I've given you enough hints. You can see a grid. You can see a lot of names out there. Okay. This is a grid represents the only places where dash. What are the only places? This is about, this is circa And the next one, this is a Lego toy, but this Lego toy is showing, is a, showing a depiction of a historical event, a very historical event. A lot of the hints are there in the kind of costumes you can see on the side, on the number in front, what historical event is represented by this. Okay. Those are the five. I'm going to move backwards. First one, historical event represented by this. This was put together as what do these represent? These are the only places where circa 2018, what happened? That's number four. Number three, the last three letters, sorry, the last three words, I'll keep doing this all day today. The last three words in this book title. Number two, all these people together, this bandhavas has been put together for one person who, okay. And the two words that originate from this, okay. So those are my five and I'm going to shut off screen sharing now. Okay, those are the five. Screen sharing's off, you have a minute to send me your answers, okay? And I will rate you ASAP, okay? So I can you show slide number four? I'm sorry, I can't show the slides. Uh, slide number four was that network of lots of places, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't show you anything. I need all answers together. Has somebody sent me all answers together? Because there are lots of answers here. I see broken up. Okay. 
guys i'm going to take one of them which all of them uh, which which takes everything so i'm giving giving you another 30 seconds to answer please Okay, guys, have all teams answered? Please let me know. If any team has not yet answered, please let me know because I'm going to close it in ten seconds now. Okay, don't worry. This is the only one in which all these answers are going to be there. So yeah. Okay. uh i uh, anyone not answers as yet please send in your answers okay if i if i haven't got it you guys whoever is not send it till now i'm just going to have to accept that it's not going to come in so i'll accept it okay so then all stars can you do me a favor can you send them all in one go because at at this point in time i have too many of them all over the place Okay, team wise, I'm going to go. Rudisha, solution. Which of you have sent me the answers? Sir, could you repeat that, Joy? Uh, Rudisha, solutions. Which of you have sent me the answers? In whose name is the answers? I, I have sent it to you. That's sorry, I can't see you. That's three. Three has sent it. She has sent it. Okay, I'm going to go one by one. Uh, from the bottom, Zaverian answers all stars. Uh, Zaverian all stars. The five answers I've got. Okay, the five. The correct answers are. narcissism or anything to word narcissist narcissism anything that's obvious there and the nymph who saw and was looking at him and she died till just her voice remained was echo that's where the word echo comes from so narcissist and echo is the answer i'm accepting for number 1 answer number 2 that prison was spandau prison that mainly held nazi prisoners and after the nuremberg trials Rudolf Hess was the one man that that prison held for the longest time. So the answer I'm looking for is Rudolf Hess, the Nazi who ran away to England and pretended to wanted to have a peace treaty with Churchill. The third answer I'm accepting is, and I'm going to be kind on it. Okay, uh, basically, obviously, you're talking about Big Blue, IBM, and the whole book is about how a big company can be nimble. So the answers I'm looking for is, elephants can dance. okay and somebody is written elephants can't dance but i'm i'll accept that so elephants can dance can't dance as long as it has elephants dancing i'm okay with it okay i'm really into dancing elephants okay the fourth one is the only one nobody got and it's a trifle unfair that till 2018 2019 and obviously 2020 2021 has changed a lot of things those were the only routes on which the a380 airbus flew on a regular basis and the reason i put that in was because air tibas 8380s cannot get into smaller airports so if you see the airport links out there you'll see those are the only airports where you know airbus 380s are accepted and the last one i found really cute that's a 4 minute mile being broken by roger banister so all the hints are there you can see roger banister is wearing number 41 the person who's scoring is in a suit which you normally not seen in olympics and of course uh, the most interesting part about it is the person who actually announced made the announcement was a man who started the guinness book of world records i think it was one of the mcquarter brothers and it's one of the great things that the, nobody ever heard the whole what he said he said that it, mr roger banister's time is 3 minutes and the moment they said 3 minutes the cheering was so much that nobody heard exactly 
Just the fact that it was three minutes and not four minutes made all the difference. So those are your five. Zaverian All-Stars, you've given me three correct answers. Zaverian All-Stars, three. So uh, who's Nilanjana? Are you helping with this course, Nilanjana? Nilanjana, are yes, you there? Yes, I can hear you and put down the scores. The Varian All Stars has three correct, that's 15 points. Okay. Okay, Dhishum has four correct and 20 points. Okay. The one they missed, I think everyone missed, which is they wrote the Barack Obama World Book Tour. I'm quite impressed by that answer. But yeah. That's pretty good one. So Dishum has four correct, that's 20. And I'm just going in the direction that I can see the answers from. So Dishum has 20. Okay, next coming up, we have Vice Quacks has three correct. Narcissist Echo, Elephants Can't Dance, Roger Bannister, Four Minute Miles. 15 to Vice Quacks, please. That's a pretty nice performance. I think it's the first time they're participating. That's pretty good. Okay. She, have you sent me all? Okay, Pratyush is sent me on behalf of ABCD1234. Uh, they've also got four correct. They've missed the same one as the others have, which is the Avas 380s. Yeah, sorry, Joy, I have sent you, uh, this Shri here, I, I have sent you all the answers for Alicia. Okay. She has sent it. She, you've also, she has sent it for? This for Rodisha. Okay, ABCD one two three four is also twenty. Rodisha solutions is Rodisha solutions. Wait, let me have a look at it. Three. I think you're twenty as well, right? Uh, it, it, how many is that per question? Ten points or five? Five points. Okay, then we. I think we just got two. You got uh, now. Nah, uh, wait a minute. I can't see yours. You've got uh, what all the ones you got? Yeah, you got, got ten. The narcissism one and the uh, last one, the banister one. Okay. Uh, Guptas are great. Can I see some answers? Guptas are great. Can you tell me what you answered? Yeah, um, I sent the answer. So it should come from Matu Gupta. Uh, we answered narcissism slash narcissistic echo. I think you got four right. Yeah, yeah, yeah Matu, I've right. seen your answers. Yeah. Guptas are great. I've got 20, which I think is a spectacular result. And now we come to that famous institution in Northern India, in Western India. Vimvi won. How many have you got? We got four as well, Joy. 20 from Bimbi 1. Bimbi 2? We got 2 and a half. Okay. 2 and a half means I'm going to give you 10. Which, which half did you miss? Narcissist uh, and echo. We, okay. missed echo. we missed the echo. I'm sorry. Then you'll get yourself. Okay. I'll give you 12.5 and I'll tell you why. It'll help me sort out tiebreakers later in the day. Beijing bunnies. How much did you end on? I can see you here, but I can't. Beijing bunnies? Yeah, I think we got uh, two, and half, two and a half. Two and a half is 12.5 from you as well. Yes, you do. I can now see your answers. Clockwork, Durian, have you sent your answers? Yes. Who sent it from Clockwork, Durian? Aviru, Aviru. And you have got, what are the answers? Can you just go through your answers, Aviru? Yes, so uh, we, we did a typo on elephants can fly, we have written. But other than that, we have got three. We have no. got narcissism ego. We have got Rudolph yeah, yeah. and Roger. So, Julian, you've got yourself 20 because I said I, I wanted dancing elephants. I'm okay with it. And that inexperienced young boys of Tequila Mockingbird, how many have you answered? We've got four right. You've got four right as well. 20. So we've got Rhodesia Solution 10, Zavarian All Stars 15, Guptas are great on 20, ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, Bimbi 1, 20. Tequila Mockingbird 20, Wimby 2 on 12.5, 50 shades of grey matter. What did you answer? How many, how many have you got? Four. 50 shades of... So you aren't making life very easy for me. I just want you to know that I want you to be better spaced out. Spacing is what quizzes are all about. Okay, so you've also got 20 and uh, that means Dishum 2021 is 20, Beijing Bunny is at 12.5, Clockwork Durian on 20 and the Wise Quacks on 15. And that means we'll start off straight with our straight questions. Here's the rules I'm going to follow. The timekeeping is mine. So I'm going to decide how much time I'm going to give. One person from each team pipe up with the answer. If more than one person pipes up with the answer, I will accept the first correct answer I hear. Okay. So we, I'm going to go straight into that. Uh, yeah. 
question number one is going to reduce your solution and only after they miss it will it pass and i will pass i will tell i'll name the team and please be ready with an answer when i come to you okay question number one of the main quiz this man admitted that he had been called a liar more often than anyone on this planet he made his reputation based on the perfectly true fact that Lindbergh was actually the 67th person to cross the Atlantic by plane. Because he actually was the 67th person. He's just Sorry, a Joy, are you sharing a screen? No, are I'm you... not sharing a screen. I'm not sharing oh, okay. a screen. Go ahead, please. So he admitted he'd been called a liar more often than anyone else. He made his reputation based on the fact that Lindbergh was actually the 67th person to cross the Atlantic by flight. He was just the truth is he was a 67, just that he was the first solo guy. Just identify this man. The business he started is synonymous with him. Okay. Rhodesia solution, your question. Who is this man? He admitted that he'd been called a liar more often than any other person on this planet. Okay, Radusha Solutions, I'm not hearing an answer. I'm passing you. I'm going to Zaverian All Stars. Do you have an answer for me? Goodyear? Goodyear is incorrect. Uh, Guptas are great. Um, we're going to go with Guinness, as in the founder of Guinness. Good try, incorrect. Uh, ABCD1234. We'll go with uh, Bloomberg. Incorrect, all good tries. Wimby won. Norris, McWhorter? No, they've tried the Guinness, so I would have given it. Oh. Tequila Mockingbird? Uh, Ripley from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Absolutely, well done. That's Robert Ripley from Ripley's Believe It or Not. And obviously the question you can make out that that's what it means, that he basically asks something, it's, he puts up facts that seem very, very crazy until you figure out the logic behind them. So Ripley's Believe It or Not is what he started, Robert Ripley. Question number two. Joy, uh, one request. I think at the beginning, you need to give a little more time if you don't mind, because uh, it's just too quick. Before we could discuss it, it, it kind of passed, yeah? Okay, I'll just try and give it. I will count down about 30 seconds for you guys, okay? It'll help uh, that's me. Fine. That's fine. Thanks. Okay. Sorry, is it 10 marks for answer? Yeah, 10 points, yeah. 10 points for every correct answer. Takina Mockingbird gets themselves 10 points. Okay. Okay, the next team is going to be Wimby 2 because I'm moving in infinite bounce order. So Wimby 2, here's your question. Which pair of 19th century celebrity brothers did sisters Sarah Ann and Adelaide Yates marry? These two sisters married two celebrity brothers and had 21 children with them. Which celebrity brothers did Sarah Ann and Adelaide Yates marry in 1843? This marriage was a you know, very well known. A lot of people talked about it, even though it was the 19th century. Which pair of brothers did Sarah Ann and Adelaide marry? 30 seconds. If, of course, you know the answer before that, please give it. Dimbi too. I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with. I don't know the names, but they are Siamese twins. Okay, I'll give it to you. Yes, Chang and Ellis Bunker, the Siamese twins, they married. These two sisters married the Siamese twins' brothers, and they had 21 children among them. Please do not ask me the dynamics of how that worked. Okay, but 21 children among them between the two brothers with, with these two sisters. Okay, well answered by that Swimby Tood was your direct, right? Yeah. 50 Shades of Great Matter, yours. Which famous Indian fought the 1971 Lok Sabha elections on a Vishal Haryana ticket after being very angry that Mrs. Gandhi had cancelled the Privy Purse? Which famous Indian fought the 1971 Lok Sabha elections on a Vishal Haryana ticket after Mrs. Gandhi cancelled the Privy Purse for former royals? 30 seconds. Okay, we'd say um, Patwadi, Mansur Ali Khan Patwadi. You said right, it is Mansur Ali Khan Patwadi, 50 Shades of Grey Matter, and you get yourself 10 points. 10 right. points to 50 Shades of Grey Matter. 
Dishum 2021, your question. Now we've all heard of an Ouija board. I don't know how I'm, whether I never pronounce it right. O-U-I-J board, you know, where you see this flat board with the numbers zero to nine and a few words. And that's how spirits are supposed to communicate with you. Okay. What's the name of the small heart-shaped wooden indicator that one person is supposed to hold in their hand, which spells out the message? So what is that little piece of wood called, which you hold on to it and it's supposed to be, the spirit is supposed to move your hand to that? Your question, Dishun 2021. What is that little piece called? That little wooden piece. Mm. Uh, can we answer, Joy? Yeah, please. Planchette. Exactly. It's called a planchette, and that's where the planchette comes into the Indian language. The planchette is actually that little thing that you have, you hold in your hands. So very surprisingly, most Indians wouldn't know what you talked about if you called it Nuija board, but they all know what it's uh, what it means when you call it a planchette because that's what a planchette actually is. Okay, great answer there. Uh, Beijing money is your question. Slightly more hardcore. Uh, this is the only World Cup final which has been played in pouring rain. Okay, And the one reason that the team won was the team that won. It was a huge upset. The team that won won because the captain of the winning team was, you know, he said that they were wearing Adidas boots which had interchangeable studs. So they could use the correct studs to play. And that's why this team won the final. You can do one of two things. Either tell me the year in which this Football World Cup final was played or just tell me the two teams. I'm sorry, you'll have to give me both correct for the answer. And there's a big hint there, the fact that, you know, one of the teams obviously had boots with interchangeable studs. Beijing Bunnies, you have 30 seconds to think about it and answer. Yeah, uh, I mean, because that is West Germany in 1960. Yeah, 560 didn't have a World Cup, so no, incorrect. Uh, I'm passing on to Clockwork Durian. Clockwork Durian. Any answers? This is um, 1978. 1978, incorrect. And I'm passing to the Weiss Quacks. Uh, it's uh, 1954, West Germany beat Hungary. Uh, the studs were from Adidas. Superbly done. Well done. 1954, West Germany beat Hungary in one of the biggest upsets ever. And the studs were from Adidas. And those Adidas studs basically also build Adidas's reputation as a maker. Okay, brilliant. Just hold on a second. So we've gone to one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five questions gone. Seven more to go before we change, uh, we go to the visuals. Question number six. Okay. What was the original profession of Ellen Church, who was the first female attendant, on-air attendant, or flight attendant, or air hostess as we call it today? What was the original profession of Ellen Church? Okay, the question, because Vice Pax is answered, it goes to your Rhodesia solution, it's yours. What was the original profession of Ellen Church? Nurse. Yes, it is. She is a nurse. And the reason why it's important is till the 1939, the Second World War, all flight attendants had to be nurses compulsorily till the nurses were required during the war. So 10 points to your Rhodesia solutions. We move on to question number seven. Uh, for what reason in the early 50s, the principal of Kolaram, Kolapur's Rajaram College mortgaged his house for 7,000 rupees. For what specific reason did the principal of Kolapur's Rajaram College in the early 50s mortgage his house for 7,000 rupees? To support what did he mortgage his house for 7,000 rupees? Early 50s. <laughs> Maharashtra Statehood. Incorrect. I'm going to move to Zaverian All-Stars. Do you have an answer? I'm going to move fast on the rebounds. 
Mm. No passing you is available in all stars. Guptas are great. Passing you. ABCD one two three four. Is it uh, Nathuram God says trial? Incorrect. Good try. Vimbi one. Mahalakshmi temple. Incorrect. Takina mockingbird. Uh, we are going with the founding of the Jan Sangh. Incorrect. Oh, that's I mean, Movin would have been so happy he would have remembered it if it was so. Vimbi two. To support the Ranji team for Maharashtra. No. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey matter. Uh, to sponsor KD Jadav's Olympic uh, quest. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. 1952 Helsinki Olympics. KD Jadav won a bronze medal. This was a good day to send him there. Well answered there. That was question oh, number one. Well answered. Okay. Next question. Uh, the first people in the West to really use tattoos, which were discovered, you know, by James Cook when he went to the Tahiti Islands, were the sailors. Obviously, the sailors adapted it first. There were two very good reasons why they'd use. They would normally started tattooing themselves, and normally their tattoo was a crucifix on the back. There were two reasons. Okay, just give me both. Okay, I give you thirty awesome. seconds to think about it. Please come. Does anyone know whose question it is? Let's just wait for Joy to come back. He'll let us. Yeah, know. I'm here. Yeah, please go on. Whose question was it? Whose direct was this? This was, I think, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey answer. So, Dishum 2021, right? Okay, two answers. Uh, you, you want two answers, I guess. So, yeah. usually bodies. Uh, float with their, you know, backs. So the person who recognizes the Christian and given a burial. And the other thing is, you know, the devil always attacks you from the back. So if he sees a cross, he won't oh. attack you. Interesting. Uh, I'll give you part points later if I see if somebody is not given the full answer. Moving on, uh, Clockwork Dorian. Uh, sorry, uh, Beijing Bunnies. Uh, is is it because the church funded their expeditions? No. Moving on, uh, clockwork Durian. Uh, one one is that if you know if they if they drown, uh, like what Jaydeepa said. The second one is that they would be treated as a sacrifice towards God, like just to. Okay, no. Why squacks? Uh, the second, the first reason is uh, what the gentleman said. The second is that the master won't whip them on the back if they see a crucifix because most of them were uh, Christians. For uh, the, they won't get whipped. Who is this? Weisquax? Yeah. Weisquax, absolutely correct. That's the other answer. So the first answer is to be recognized as a Christian and therefore you know that you'll be given proper rights. The other is that if you're a Christian is trying to whip you, they're not going to hit you very hard if you have a crucifix on your back because, you know, it feels as if it's somehow considered to be unfair, so uh, unholy. So well done there, Weisquax. Uh, you're direct. Uh, you got 10 points there for Weisquax. Rudisha solution, because of that, you get the question again. Uh, in 1968, what barrier in inverted commas was supposed to have been broken during the episode Plato's Stepchildren in the third season of an American television serial? I'll repeat that just once more. In 1968, what barrier was supposed to have been broken during the episode Plato's Stepchildren in the third season of a popular US serial. The question goes to Rodisha Solution, I think. Yeah, Weisquex answered Rodisha Solution, yours. You have 15 more seconds to think about it. Okay, this is the first uh, black uh, protagonist or hero or the central character. First black central character, good try, incorrect, Zaverian All Stars. It's the it's a first interracial kiss. So Kirk kisses Uhura. Kurt kisses Kirk is not Kirk. Kirk. <laughs> I'm also going crazy. Kirk kisses Uhura. It is the first interracial kiss. Well done. There's a very all stars. You seem to be an expert on kisses. The other expert, of course, Movin has not got the opportunity as yet. But ten points is a very all stars. And Guptas are great. Is going to get a great question out here. Okay, coming up now. 
Okay. Before he went on to his more famous profession, this gentleman taught English music and soccer at St. Catherine's Convent School in the UK. He later said, I was the only man on the faculty. In fact, I was the only teacher not in a habit. Who is this famous person? Before he became famous, he taught English music and soccer at St. Catherine's Convent School. He later said, I was the only man in the faculty. In fact, I was the only teacher not in a habit. That's Gupta's a great, your question. And I'll give you 15 more seconds to think about it. And we're done. Gupta is great. Do we have an answer? No, I'm passing you. Uh, ABCD 1234. Any answers? Um, we'll go with Hugh Jackman. Incorrect. Wimby 1. Sting. Sting, Sting uh, is correct. Dollar. I heard Sting first. Uh, did you uh, try anything else? But Sting was the first answer I heard. So I'll accept it. Okay, Gordon Sumner, better known as Sting. Did somebody else try another one? It doesn't matter because as long as I hear the first answer first, I'm going to stop. Talk to us, right? No, no, no it, didn't. Didn't. it wasn't that. Uh... I think I, I heard Sting, so I'm sorry. I'll give it to them. Wimby won. You got yourself 10 points. Tequila Mockingbird. Yeah, Tequila Mockingbird, your question. And I think uh, it's interesting one in a, in a row. Who or what started in 1964 as Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions? Who or what started in 1964 as Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions? If nobody knows it, I'll give a hint. If anyone has a try, you can stop me from doing it. Yeah. Nobody knows. Okay, I'm giving a clue. They had an unlikely, minor but unlikely part to play in the 1992 Olympics. Uh, 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 shall I say Joy? I'm Go from. Uh, can I say the answer? Yes, you can. Of course, you can. Uh, the Grateful Dead. Lovely answer, Tadagat. It's a lovely answer. It's a Grateful Dead. They before they were the Warlocks. They were called the Mother Macri's Uptown Jug Champions. And of course, Tata, if you'd like to tell them why 1992 is relevant, please use the mic. They were the sponsor for the Lithuanian basketball team. Yes, Rajan, they were the sponsors for the Lithuanian basketball team, which is why it looks, they have all these Bartiks. They look the wildest Olympic costume I've ever seen in your life. Guys, if you ever get a chance, go and check out the Olympic, Lithuanian Olympic 1992 team. It's worth seeing. Okay, that was question eight, nine. Two more from this round. Here goes. Uh, this is who answered it. It was answered by 50 Shades of Grey Matter. No, no, Tequila Maka. Tequila Mockingbird's got this. Okay, Bimbi one, yours coming up. What connects, and I, I, I just put this list together because I love it. Richard Nixon, Stephen Amritraj, who's the last Amritraj to play for India. Tim Cook, Lalit Modi, and Matthew McConaughey's character in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I'll do that list for you again. What connects Richard Nixon, Stephen Amritraj, the last Amritraj to play for India. Tim Cook, Lalit Modi and Matthew McConaughey's character in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. It's your question, Bimbi 2, and we'll give you 12 more seconds to think about it. Is that for Bimbi 1 or 2? I think that's Bimbi 2. Bimbi 2. Bimbi 1 seems to know the answer. They look as if they're waiting to pounce on it if it comes around, but let's see. Duke University. Hey. Who's, uh, who's answer, who answered? Bimbi 2. Who's that from Bimbi 2? Radesh. 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 Yeah. And your answer is? Duke University. Absolutely. Duke, Duke. Duke University. Absolutely brilliant. Duke University is the correct answer. And all these people have studied in Duke University. Not all of them have graduated from there, of course. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, Tim Cook did a master's there. Lalit Modi had this little matter of 
police and strippers before he had to uh, uh, leave the shores. But all of them studied in Duke University. So great answer. They're really good answer. No, no. Sung was, Sung was researching universities. Yeah. So just to have Lalit Modi, I just asked the question because to have Richard Nixon and Lalit Modi and Tim Cook in the same place just made me feel so happy I couldn't resist myself. Tim Cook was the most famous and uh, the others were just a guess. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Next one coming up. Uh, we all know about the Iron Curtain, East and West Europe. Uh, the uh, Bamboo Curtain, China from the rest of the world. Where would you still come across less often now? It's not so much in the news now. The Cactus Curtain. The Cactus Curtain and the question goes to Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. Where or what is the Cactus Curtain? Fifty shades of grey matter yours. Okay. Yes. Guantanamo Bay, I think, is what it is. Yeah. Guantanamo Bay says Fifty Shades of Grey Matter, and they've got it absolutely right. Ten points to them, and. Great answer there, Dishum 21, yours. And this is the last question before we stop the quiz and we go to a set of visuals, okay? Here's your question coming up now, okay? If it is, and I'm, I never pronounce this right, if it's- Sorry, whose question is this, Jaya, sorry? This is Dishum 2021. If it's Lema, as is L-E-M-A-N-S, 66 in most countries in the world, what is it in North America? I'm not, I'm, don't ask me to explain the question. I'll ask it exactly as it is. If it's Lemo, L-E, M-A-N-S, 66, around the world, what is it in North America? In most parts of the world, what is it in North America? It, this is the film Ford v. Ferrari. Absolutely. This is what the name of Ford versus Ferrari as it was launched in most countries around the world. It's known as Lemos 66 in most countries around the world, but on OTT platforms and in English, it's usually called Ford versus Ferrari because obviously for the Yanks, that's the most important thing that matters. Okay, brilliant. So we've got uh, 12 questions in. We're going to do a six, 12 question visuals and then we'll go straight back to our last set of audio questions, straight questions. First one's coming up now. Let me start sharing my screen again. Can we have this course? I'll give you the scores at, at the end of six questions, so it reminds me to change directions as well, okay? I'm Ilan, sorry, Jada, we have to write and send you the answers, is it? No, no. In these, it's exactly the same as uh, your direct questions are. You will be giving me the answers, okay? So who answered the last question? Dishum 2021 answered. Beijing bunnies, this is your question coming up, okay? What is this called, Beijing bunnies? This is something... It's named after a famous scientist. What is it called? Simple question to you. What is this thing called? It's the, uh, the Archimedes spiral. I'll give it to you. It's the Archimedean spiral or the Archimedean screw. This is meant to raise water. Well done, Beijing bunnies. Absolutely correct. Uh, good answer there. These are going to be easy, straightforward questions. I hope all of you get answers there. Clockwork Durian, yours coming up. What is the name of that kind of creature? What is that creature? And I want a very specific name. What is this called? What is this animal called? Is this a liger? It is a liger. Well done. 10 points to it is a liger. The difference between a tigon and a liger. A liger is a lion father and a tiger mother. Okay. And they make the largest, the largest tiger species, cats in the world are ligers. And the tigons are a tiger father and a lion mother, which look very different. The funny thing is tigons have a bit of mane. Ligers don't have any mane at all. So that this is a liger. And I'll be a liger if I tell you otherwise. Okay, sorry, bad one. Uh, Clockwork Durian, you answered. The wise quacks, yours. I hope you get your direct also. What is exact name for this? What is it called? I want an exact name. There are three word uh, three words answer i want i want a three word answer what um, this is a zero gravity pen 
no, I will not accept zero gravity pen, though that, that is a possible answer, but it's not the answer that it, I'm looking for. Team one, Rudisha solutions. Is this a ruler ballpoint? Incorrect, Severian All Stars. Uh, sorry, ballpoint pen. Passing, Kuttas are great. Uh, NASA space pen. Nicely tried. Well fudged, as they say. No. ABCD, one, two, three, four. Zero G pen. No, Wimby one. No, Wimby one. Passing you. Tequila Mockingbird. Passing you. Like, roller ball pen. No, Wimby two. Uniform flow pin. What am I saying, Shivi? Pin space pin. 50 shades of grey matter. What's your answer? Uh, outer space pen. I heard the correct answer. I thought I heard the correct answer just before that. Can we uh, ask Quacks attempt it again, please? <laughs> Vice Quacks, no, can't attempt again. Maybe I'm so sorry. Mr. Wimby 2 said uniform flow pin. Was that right? No, that's right? not correct. 50 shades of grey matter. Have you tried? You have, right? Yes. What did you say? Outer space pen. No, Dishun 2021. No, Beijing bunnies. Rolling ball space. Clockwork Durian. Uh, we'll go with a space pen refill. Okay, why squack? Since it was yours, I'm going to give you another chance. You said you Russian? had enough. Yeah, Russian space pen soon. No, okay, well done. So all of you have done the trope. All of you know what the context is. This is, of course, three idiots had this all this thing about Russians having a pencil and this guy having a pen. This is actually a very famous device. It's called the Fisher Space Pen. But the specific name I was looking for was it was called the Fisher Space Pen. And it cost a lot of money to develop, and which is a whole story. If you want to know more about it, you can read about it on Wiki. Alternatively, you can watch three idiots. Okay, that was question number four. Uh, three, wait, wait, let me see how many have I got. One. No, that was the first. This is the second. This is the third. Number four. Okay. On what day did this advertisement come out? Which day of the year did this ad come out? That's all I'm asking you. Question two. Whose question was it? Vice Quacks. Everyone missed. Rodisha Solution. I'm going to go with you. Rodisha Solution. What day, exact day did this ad come out? I want a day of the year, not a specific year. Okay. It's going to be first of April. It has to be well done, well thought through. It is the 1st of April because every year BMW has this habit of taking out these rubbish ads. So this is about a BMW car whose tires repel dogs who want to pee on it. And obviously, if you take the first letters of canine repellent alloy protection, you know what you get. You get crap. And that's a good answer by Rudisha Solutions. Simple one, but they put away the loose ball and... Uh, one more question before Nilanjana gives us his course. Uh, Zaverin also has yours. Okay, what specifically is this sport called? It was very, very big in the army, especially the British Indian Army. What is this sport called? Uh, Joy, this is tent pegging. Well done, Zaverin all -Stars. This is tent pegging. I mean, I, I was amazed. I put this picture out in a school quiz for top schools and they didn't have a clue what it was about. <clears throat> it is tent pegging and it is why the cavalry, Indian cavalry is very famous for this. 10 points for you. And uh, at this point, can Nilanjana, could you give us a look at the scores, please? We are halfway through. Could we have a look at the scores, please? Hi, uh, I'll share my screen. Just a second. Oh, I can't share while you're sharing. So I'll just read out. I can unshare. I can unshare. Wait, wait, wait. I can unshare. Okay. I can stop sharing. Okay, here goes. All yours. Okay, share. Okay, so uh, Rhodesia Solution is on 30, uh, Xavier and All Stars on 35, Gupta's are great is 20, uh, sorry, Gupta's are great are 20, ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, Wimby 1 is on 30, Wimby Two is on, okay, this is complicated math. 32.5. Killer Mockingbird is um, 40. 50 Shades of Grey Matter is, uh, they've got full marks, 50. 
Uh, Dishum 2021 is copy. Beijing Bunnies. How is much is Dishum 2021? 40. Okay. Uh, Beijing ben Bunnies is 22.5. Clockwork Durian is on 30. The Weiss Quack is on 35. Okay, everyone seems to have scored. Well done. We can just sum up those scores. Uh, <coughs> we reverse directions at this stage and uh, we keep moving. Uh, just stop square sharing your screen and I'll move on. Yeah, give me one second, please. It's complicated for me too. Yeah, it's complicated. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks so much, Nilanjana. That's really nice of you. And for anyone to uh, agree to proctor and score this quiz, is, it's tough. It's not easy. Well, we move to the next step. We're going to go very fast now. Just 18 questions left. Uh, two teams in the lead. But remember, four teams go through. Uh, this question will go because the answer was Rhodesian All-Stars. Uh, Zaverian All-Stars. Rhodesia Solution will get this question. Okay, I'm going to give you a set of numbers to do with cricket. Okay. These are all the innings played by a particular batsman in test cricket. I'm missing one innings. Either you name the batsman, okay, or you name the score that's missing, okay. This is a person who's currently playing cricket, but he may not be in the national team. I'm not going to tell you anything more than that, okay. The scores are 4, 13, dash, 26, 0, 23, 5. So all this person's scores. In, in, in test cricket are 4, 13, dash, 26, 0, 23, 5. Okay. Either tell me the missing score or whose test scores are these. Rudisha solution. I'm giving you 15 more seconds. We're guessing, is this Karun Nair? Well done. It is Karun Nair. The missing score is 303. So that's the only one you missed. So he's played six innings. He's got one triple century, nothing else. Well done. Answered uh, Rudisha Solution. That is Karun Nair. Next one coming up now. <coughs> this man was a director general of BBC for most of the Second World War. He is known for something that he did in a great hurry a few years later. When asked in 1977 whether he'd, be, he'd like to return to the scene of his most famous work, he said, never. I suspect they'd shoot me out of hand, both sides. Who is this man? Okay. Director General of BBC during the Second World War, remembered for something he did a few years later. When asked whether he'd return to the scene, he said, I suspect they'd shoot me out of hand, both sides. Who is this man? Or what did he do? If you know one, I suspect you know the other. And the question... It's Weiss Quack's question. Uh, it's uh, Cyril Radcliffe, the partition line. Absolutely. Cyril Radcliffe, the man who made partition, obviously, anyone who sees it wants to kill him. Okay. Uh, in the 1960s, okay, 1964-65, Timothy Leary, we've all heard of Timothy Leary, turn on, tune in, drop out, LSD, all that, you know. He wanted to run for governor of California. So he sat and chatted with some of his really good friends about making a song, a campaign song for it. Okay. He never ran for governor. He got arrested before that. All sorts of things happened. But this song actually came out much later and became one of the largest hits. It's a song that we still often hear. One of the biggest hits of the 60s. Who, either you tell me the group or the people he asked to sort of write his campaign song or what was the song. This is, uh, Weisspack just answered, this is Clockwork Dorian. Clockwork Dorian song which was originally meant to be Timothy Leary's campaign song. Uh, we go with Grateful Dead as the band. Grateful Dead, we've had enough of the Grateful Dead today for one day. We've had actually two references to them. No, Beijing Bunny is yours. Big famous song. And you must have, all of you have heard the song. Is it We Are The World, uh, We Are The People? No, not We Are The World. 60s is too early for that. Dishum 2021. Think Come of together. 
Come together, of course. Come together right now over me. Absolutely. The song is Come Together by the Beatles. John Lennon wrote it for Timothy Leary's campaign song originally. Well done, Dishum 2021. 50 Shades of Grey Matter, here's your question. I like this question. I'm going to phrase it exactly. I expect an answer and I'm not going to give you any explanations. In the coat of arms of which specific part of Spain will you see two dogs, though most people expect to see other creatures? In the coat of arms of which specific part of France will you see two dogs? Canary you... Islands. Well done, well done. Can Canarias. Canary Islands because they are not named after canaries. They are named after dogs. canines with the number of dogs who were there on these islands. So the birds got their names from the dogs, not the other way around. Well done, Fifty Shades of Grey Matter. I enjoyed writing this question and you gave a very good answer. Vimby 2, yours. Okay. This gentleman, a uh, little bit of cricket again, one cricket question, but uh, you have to forgive me this one. I love this question. This man, his wanted to name his son after Sunil Gavaskar's son. Okay. And he actually got it no, wrong. He thought Sunil Gavaskar's name was something else. His uh, son's name was something else. So he gave his son the wrong name. But his son still went on to play international cricket for India. So all I want you to know is name his son, who was who he thought his father thought was being named after Sunil Gavaskar's son, but uh, wasn't. But actually ended up playing for India. Is this it? is Bimbi. This is uh, Bimbi two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it uh, K L Rahul? It is K L Rahul. It is K L Rahul. K L Rahul. Basically, K L Rahul's father, K L Lokesh, thought that. His uh, Rohan Gaz, Sunil, Sunil Gavaskar's son's name is Rahul Gavaskar. So he said, my son should also be named Rahul. As it turned out, his name was Rohan. But Rahul went on to play for India. At least his father's this thing was much better. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Uh, Bimbi 2, that was your answer, right? Yeah. Tequila yeah. Mockingbird, this is probably the toughest question in the quiz, but it goes to, therefore, an appropriate team because I think you're the, one of the finest teams around. Benford's law is used as a tool against many things, especially fraud. Okay. He was a physicist, Benford was a physicist at GE who used to do a lot of things and he discovered something which actually uh, has now been made into a raw and has been proven to be statistically correct. So what is Benford's law and how is it used against fraud? You don't need to give me, there's a very simple answer. It's not very complicated, but it's a toughie. Bad luck, Tequila, you're direct, but you're a terrific team. So. I'm hoping you get this. Joy. Yeah. Can I answer? Can I ask? Tata, can I ask? Hold on, hold on. Movin, is that you? Yeah. Joy, this in, in the balance sheet, it's a number of times or any document, number of times a specific number occurs. So one will occur a certain frequency two will occur at a certain frequency. So by looking at the data, you can tell whether a document has been forged or not. You know, like a balance sheet has been forged or not. Okay, there are many things to learn out here. One is the fact that he totally fudged this answer in the sense that he didn't, he knows what he has, but he doesn't have the absolutely specific answer. So, so I can build on it. I know you That's can build on it. Uh, who, uh, uh, would you like to build on it? Okay, I'll allow you to build on it. Go for it. So the basic the concept is that I mean you know the the I mean the, the basic the concept is okay three forensic forensic accounting yeah. yeah forensic accounting basically it is okay so look I, you know what Movin I'm going to do you a favor because you got a really tough question this is a really tough question I'm going to give you points before Tathagat ruins it for you so ten points to you now Tathagat tell me what you're saying no no basically what happens is when you observe, really what observe the is? observation is that the leading digit is like to be a very small digit because what happens is that you know because the digits are uniformly distributed if you if you look at the uh, the, the the spread of the digit you can figure out that you know by the leading digit of that number or something of a bank account or something it's a fraud that's the that's the concept so uh, i'll give it to you benford's law basically says that the number of times one appears as the first in a particular sequence is actually 
one should appear at least only 10% of the time. But in almost all logarithmic tables, charts, stats, Excel sheets, one appears almost 0.3 times. And this is a statistical anomaly and it's used to make forensic account. I think that's an absolutely spectacular answer. I mean, Movin, you got it absolutely right. And I mean, I think Tata, you mentioned there that it has to be a small number. It doesn't have to be a small number. It has to be the smallest number one. Well done there. 10 points to you, Tequila Mockingbird. Superb answer. Okay. Well done, Tequila Mockingbird. Bimbi, one, I'm going to give you a question, which I think you will also enjoy. Uh, Sir Jeremy, and I'm not giving you his surname, was the chairman of Lloyd's Bank in the 70s, 60s and 70s. And he was a crossword champion. Okay. Which fictional character was named after him? And by him, by his named after his surname. I'm not giving you the surname, obviously. But which fictional character was named after the surname of Sir Jeremy, who was the chairman of Lloyd's Bank, but he was a, he was a top crossword player in the 60s and 70s? Your question, Bimbi 2. Oh, sorry, Bimbi 1. Yeah. Did I hear an answer? Did anyone answer? Bimbi 1, did you answer? Uh, calculus? Not calculus. Uh, uh, ABCD one, two, three, four. No passing you. Uh, Guptas are great. Um, is it Morse, Inspector Morse? Absolutely, it's Inspector Morse. It is Inspector Morse. So Jeremy Morse was uh, this thing. If you remember, Colin Duxter himself is a crossword fanatic. He's even written a book on how to solve cryptic crosswords. So every Moss novel by Colin Dexter, you'll come across a novel. Well done there. Great answer. That's for Guptas are great. Zaverian All-Stars, your question coming up now. Okay. Where would you come across this? In which sport would you come across this? Uh, sorry. Uh, which... This is, this is a simple one, uh, Zavirin also says you should get this straight off. Which novel of 2003 derives its title from a quote from the Sherlock Holmes story, Silver Blaze? Which best-selling work derives its title from a quote from the Sherlock Holmes story, Silver Blaze. Passing you Rhodesian All-Stars, uh, Rhodesian Solution, sorry. Uh, curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Absolutely. Mark Haddon's Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Lovely answer there. 10 points to you. Easy one. Lapped up by you. And the last direct question before we go to our last six visuals. And here's your question. The state emblem of an Australian state the emblem of an Australian state shares its name with which best-selling book of 2007, which has sold over 3 million copies worldwide. The emblem of an Australian state shares its name with which best-selling book, which has sold 3 million copies and is regarded as one of the most significant books of the early 21st century. Sorry, whose question is this? This is uh, Vice Pax, yours. State symbol of an Australian state shares its name with a book. Very, very well regarded book, yeah. Passing you Vice Pax. So Vice Pax, you have an answer? No, passing you. Clockwork Durian. Passing you Beijing Bunnies. Black Spun. Who said that? Which team is that? Bunnies. Beijing Bunnies, absolutely right. It's a black swan. It is, of course, the black swan. The black swan is the emblem of Western Australia and of obviously Talib's book. Black Swan is one amazing, amazing book. Well done, Beijing Bunnies. That's a really great answer. So just six questions left. Will Nilanjana will you give us a scores for one last time? So let's see what can happen and let, let's write down the scores in a way that we can track what's happening now. Nilanjana, I have all yours. Okay, two seconds.
Okay, uh, so this cause up. Rhodesia Solution 50, uh, Xavierian All Stars 35, Gupta's uh, grade is uh, 30, ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4 is 20, Wimby 1 is 30, Wimby 2 is 42.5, Tequila Mockingbird is 50, 50 Shades of Grey is um, quite a lot, 60. Uh, Dishung 2021 is um, 34.50. Uh, Beijing Bunnies is 32.5. Clockwork Durian is 30. Wise Quack is 45. Okay, so 50, 55, 60. Who's leading at the moment? 60. Is that 60 is uh, 50 shades of gray matter? Yes. Okay, super. But just remember, this is just the semi final. Only four teams make it through from here. And if we have to, we'll do a tiebreaker, but there's six questions still left to go. Who gave, provided the last answer for this? Uh, Beijing Bunny. So we are going to go, Dushum 2021 is going to be your direct. And I'm going to start sharing screen once again. Six questions to go. Here's the first one. It's going to come to Dishum 2021. Which organization is this the flag of? Organization. It does, may or may not exist now but very famous organizations time. Which organization is this the flag of? Vishum 2021, yours. Okay, now I'm passing you Vishum 2021. You want to try? No? No, passing you 50 shades of gray matter. British East India Company. This is the British East India Company. Well done. 10 points to 50 shades of gray matter. They put the result even more beyond doubt. Next one coming up. Who's that? Uh, this is for Wimby 2. This man allowed this photograph to be taken for a very particular reason. Who is that? He wanted this photograph to be publicized. Who is that? Wimby 2, it's yours. Hey, uh, Pra, can I go for it? Yeah, please go. Uh, this is the Marlboro Man, right? No, this is not the Marlboro Man. Good try. Uh, the logic is uh, uh, absolutely correct, but it's not the Marlboro Man. Tequila Mockingbird, who is that? No. Is this HIV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the first HIV case. Uh, Wimby 1. No. ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, Passing. Gupta Great. Passing. Zaverian All Stars. Is this the Novichok guy? No. Zaverian All Stars. No. Rhodesian Solution. This is the first pacemaker. No, uh, that's Louis Washkansky. No, the wise quacks. Uh, uh, the Russian spy, polonium poisoning, Alexander Litvinenko. Oh, good try, Litvinenko. No, clockwork durian. Is this George Best? Lovely answer. What a superb answer. This is George Best. This is the footballer George Best. After all the talk about fast cars, booze, and alcohol, he wanted this picture published to say that this is what actually what happens to you. Yeah, all that sounds very cool, but this is how I'm going to die. And poor chap, he, he really went away due to alcohol. Four questions left. Your question coming up, and that's a lovely answer there from Clockwork Durian. Beijing Bunnies, this kind of tree, okay, gives its name to a very famous island. I can't tell you anything more. We, we all know the island because of sporting reasons. This particular kind of tree gives its name to a very famous island. I've given you a hint, sporting reasons. You can take a guess. It's not easy, but it's, it's a fun answer. It's Borneo. Not Borneo. Uh, uh, who's next? Uh, Dishum 2021. No. Passing you, Dishum 2021. Shades of grey matter. Barbados. Barbados, the bearded trees, gives its name to Barbados, the island from which you have Rihanna and many, many cricketers. 
Well done, Fifty Shades of Grey. You've answered another one. Vimvi 2, your direct coming up now. Okay, easy one. I don't know why you've got this, but it's a sitter. Just name the place. What place is this? Which city is this? You can see a city around it. What's that city? Vimbi 2 passing you. Oh, okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. Vimbi, any answers? No, I'll move forward. Yes, yeah, go on. Go on. Uh, this is a, a city in China where this is called the hell hole. No, uh, hole that's hell a hell is hole. actually in Eastern Europe. No, in sorry, is uh, former Soviet Republic. Republic, not in Kazakhstan, not in China. Yeah. Tequila Mockingbird. No. Uh, Niagara. No. Wimby one. No. A B C D one two three four. No. Is this uh, Tunguska? Sorry. Is this Tunguska? Sorry. Yeah, not Tunguska. Not Tunguska. Guptas are great. Uh, is this Kola where the super? No, nah, not Kola. It's a very old stars. This is Mexico. Probably. I heard Kimberly. Who answered that? Is that Zavarian All Stars? Who answered Kimberley? Yes, yes, yes. We thought said Kimberley. Yes, well done. Zavarian All Stars. It is Kimberley. That's a great answer. That's a diamond mine at Kimberley from where all this money is made. And now Elon Musk can pretend to be broke and how he made it. Uh, this is uh, all I want to know is I know you know the two people out there. What were they advertising? Oh, this is Rhodesian Solution. Rhodesia Solution. The Rhodesian solution. This is Phoenix shoes. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's Phoenix tough shoes, but okay, <laughs> you know that much about it, and you can be answer this without being distracted. You're a better man than me, Ganga. Then, ten points to Rhodesian solution, and I think I have one last question of the day. Let's see what that is. Okay, you can see a person's face out there. Denmark National Bank. That person out there. Okay, inspired a film. Okay. Uh, Award-winning film. Can you name the film that person inspired? Denmark, you can see the picture of a lady inspired a film, English film, Hollywood film, huge hit. Which film did she inspire? Or you can name the lady, which is tougher actually, I think. Okay. Uh, Vice Quack's yours? Pass. No, pass. Clockwork Durian. Passing Beijing bunnies. Passing Vision 2021. Out of Africa, Isaac Dennison. Isaac Dennison, Baroness Karen Blixen in Out of Africa. Really nice answer. That is Out of Africa. And we are out of questions. Let's have, find out what happened exactly. Final scores coming to you from Nandini. Here goes. Okay, that was an audience question, but I'll stop sharing at this point. I figured out how to stop sharing. Okay, I think I stopped sharing. Super. Yeah, you can okay. do this afterwards. Yeah. Okay, the scores one last time. Can you just go slow, slowly this time? So, what is Rhodesia solution ended on? Meanwhile, Joy, I strongly object to being called a Godi quizzer. <laughs> so that's a good one. I, I'm sorry, Movin. I've anointed you such, but uh, no, all these, you know, and all this picture of, you know, young quizzers sitting on your lap, I've, I've just, I think I've done you very hard on this. And my apologies, absolute apologies. But, uh, and, Stoutly is the right is the right term to use for that. Absolutely, I also don't like being called a quiz Godi quiz master. So who am I to complain? Okay, Nandini, the scores. Yeah, sorry, Nandini, what is wrong with me? I have gone crazy. Here goes. I uh, since you are on uh, since you are on mute, it may not be that easy to understand. Nilanjana, you are on mute. Okay, so I start again, yeah? Yeah. Um, so Rhodesia solution is on 60. 
Xavierian All Stars 45, Gupta's a Great 30, ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, Wimvi 1, 30, Wimvi 2, 42.5, Killer Mockingbird is um, 30, 50, 50 Shades of Grey is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 80. Uh, Dishung 2021 is uh, for 60. Beijing Bunnies is 32.5. Copper Durian is 40. Wise Quack is uh, 45. Okay, so if I've got it right, winning this round definitely with a fantastic performance is 50 Shades of Grey Matter. They are an 80, right? Yes, 50 Shades of Grey Matter. And I think in second place, we have Rhodesian Solution and Dishum 2021 on 60 each. Is that right? Rhodesia Solution is on 60 and Dishum is also on 60. Yes. Okay, so that means that there is a tie. Uh, no, do we do we have a tie break? Or I think the last team on 50 is Tequila Mockingbird. Is that right? Is anyone else on 50? Tequila Mockingbird is on 50. That's right. Okay, so those are the four teams to go through. Tequila Mockingbird sneaks through along Dishum and Rhodesian Solutions in joint second place and winning this sound 50 Shades of Grey Matter. But you know what? The best part of it is that everyone scored. Everyone got lots and lots of points. It's been an absolutely spectacular quiz. Uh, Nilanjan, if you can stop sharing for one last time, I can see their faces, their wonderful, beautiful faces, one last time. And we can say bye to each other. And hopefully, uh, we can click a picture of all of us together. Swapna, you, you cannot... One of the three quizzes is over, so we shall not be so grim about it. We can actually... There is this technology called screenshot that you might have heard about, but... Shift command three, they said, right? Okay. I'm on the desktop, so not sure how to do it. Okay, brilliant, guys. Guys, somebody else can do it. Amit, I can, I can do it. I'll do it. I've got do it, but I, I can't seem to figure out how to get one onto one screen. I'll do, it, I'll do it. Just hold on, guys. <laughs> Please hold on. This is an important event. Who knows? Uh, you know, you have all been photographed with the godfather of Bhishma Patma of Indian cuisine, Movin Miranda. Tomorrow you may get a chance to sit on his lap as well and learn quizzing. Who knows? The world is full of stranger things have happened. And okay. hi, Sunil Sarkar. Please start some quiz. Jada, Movin doesn't have his video on though. Movin, please put your video on. The nation oh, wants to know. He's being blocked by somebody sitting in his lap. No, no, no. We are all getting off the <laughs> lap. Please wait. Give us a second. Movin, the nation needs to know as your favorite uh, presenter would have said. Several nations here, actually. No, I actually, I watch Republic for the noise. Sorry to admit that, but yeah, I just watch Republic for the noise. <laughs> Look, uh, this is Confessions 101. But no, yeah. if, if Michael Bay is not making films, so you know, without the exploding cars, it's pretty much the same, actually. <laughs> okay, brilliant, <laughs> super, lovely, lovely meeting you guys. Thank you so much for a spectacular quiz. I hope it wasn't very boring. I hope you guys had fun. Awesome, we'll awesome. You soon. Thanks so much. Fabulous. Thank you. Four teams in the finals. Thank you so much. All your few there. Thank you very much, Joy. Thank you, Thank everyone. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Joy. See you soon again. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Joy. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Shabna. Thank you, Joy. Okay, bye. Love you all. Hello. Ayoko is here. This is about the one phone and the one on the phone, one on the laptop. Pretty. I couldn't. Manage both. Yeah, no, I think we are more than the other Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's not the reason we lost the thing. No, no, no. It's good fun, but uh, sometimes you get it. Uh, I have to, I'll, sometimes I'm putting uh, both the earphones on, then I remove one, then I put the other ear, so then I'll go update. But it's good fun. The questions are pretty good then. Good questions. Good questions. Okay, I'm ending the fight. I know, Marcy. I was waiting for you to go to Apri Jita. Marcy, is Tamali there? No, no, she's gone out. She's gone down. Okay, okay. I'm glad we asked her. I'm glad. How did you do? 
we, okay. So, so that, we did well. Yeah, we suggested taking the bottom four teams to the final. <laughs> we would have made it. Like we, we'll, we'll do. Na- no, no, no. You, you guys were not at the bottom. How much was your score? So we were, we were, we were fourth from the bottom. So it, it worked perfectly for us. The, you were fourth if, from the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, so you should have taken the bottom four to the final. Then it would have been very. <laughs> yeah, but you should have another one. And they were out of the world questions, which I knew I was stuck at quizzing. Very, very interesting. But, very uh, interesting. Yeah, but we were glad they are friends were there too. I'm sure they must have had a good time. Very yeah, last yeah. minute, was she? Oh, yeah, yeah. So just check with them. I'm, I hope they enjoy. Yeah, they enjoy. It. I mean, we 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 kept talking on the on the WhatsApp group. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic quiz. Yeah, yeah it's it's quite addictive actually. This quizzing, you know, once you do it, even if you don't do well, you kind of try want to try again next time. Yeah, so, yeah. I can only imagine. Mission level must have been so so mm. high. My God, can I? I mean, it's just not enough to talk about him. And uh, no, but what what uh, uh, joy? I mean, he always says that uh, you know, let's let's not make it for the hardcore quizzers. You know, these these quizzes because then it's but not even. even Huh? <laughs> it's even tougher than this oh, no because this this is where you know families friends they are just taking part even in the next round yeah. which is um, the us right zone the western zone there are a lot a lot of people you know from the families and all who are doing it just for the fun of it so mm-hmm. he that's why and that is why it's by invitation only has everyone left no it is only by invitation it's not a public thing yeah yeah because uh, he says that if you have the hardcore quizzes first of all a lot of cheating goes on in these virtual quizzes Mm-hmm. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> That's none, why we didn't. None of you would. That's why it's why yes. we know who wouldn't. You know, and right. uh, also he has a lot of visuals, so it's it's not so easy to cheat with visuals. You yeah, know, otherwise exactly. you can Google fast, but by the time you get to the visuals and all, it's a bit. It's not mm-hmm. so easy. And What's your background, Jaki? Uh, Joy? Like, did Misha know him so, no. earlier? No. One ah, second. I'm just checking if anyone else is here. No, there isn't. Mm-hmm. No, he is. He is uh, basically a sports uh, management. Uh, Ashi, it still says recording. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! It's still live. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what about live? Stop live. Now 